Okay. I feel a little bit awkward. I feel like I'm starting fresh again. Probably no one's gonna notice. Nobody is gonna notice, but I had a break. I had like a three week break, two week break. Did you notice from Lena? I'm back. I'm consistent again. I'm gonna be a consistent queen. Also, do you like this? I really can't tell whether I like this top or not. It's, it's quite funky. It sort of reminds me of someone that's done their seatbelt incorrectly. Anyway, I thought, I've had a little break. I'm gonna ease back into things. So, day in the life vlog. Just, you know, a little what I get up to for the day. If I'm gonna be honest with you all, I have had one of the worst weeks of my life. I think that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I do love to exaggerate a little bit. Maybe not one of the worst weeks of my life, but it's up there. So first of all, I fell down the stairs. My stairs are not like a normal staircase. You know in a normal house, the staircases, people go down the stairs for fun. You see them videos on the internet of the people going down on the mattresses for fun. Yeah, my staircases are not like that. I can compare them to, you know at the water parks, like Cyan Park in Tenerife, and there's always that one ride that everyone's like, oh, are you gonna go on that one? Because it's genuinely like vertical. It's like one of them vertical slides that you have to like prepare yourself, you have to be a certain height, you have to strap yourself in, and you just go, Psh, and it lasts like 0.1 seconds. My staircase is like that. I am gonna make that comparison and I think it's a justified comparison. Oh, bless my mum. Because she was trying to be all nice and like clean the house, she polished my stairs for me, but they're like gloss white paint, so it just made them really slippy. And I was walking down in my little socks and bam. I fell from top to bottom down the, the vertical staircase. It was very traumatic. I genuinely slammed into the wall. I didn't have anyone to help me, so I just was like crumpled at the bottom of the staircase and I like scribbled onto my bed. I just stood there for half an hour until my mum came home. Trigger warning, if you don't like bruises or injuries or anything like that, look away now because this was my leg. It pretty much still is like that. This happened a week ago and it's not really healed that much. When I went out last weekend, I was walking, stupidly I wore a little dress. I was gonna get foundation to cover up, but I just couldn't find anything that was suitable for a leg. There was this guy that came up to me, I think he was a little bit tipsy, and he, he like pointed at my leg. He was like, oh my God, do you realize your leg is black? Do you realize you've got a bruise on your leg? Because it was on the train station platform and it was so quiet, everyone around me was quiet. Everybody then turned to look at my leg and I was just sat, stood there and I was just trying to hide my bruise. I brought my leather jacket to protect my bruise and everything. I've got a nice evening plan. I'm going into London tonight and I'm gonna go out for dinner and drinks with my two friends. And then my Nana's here for the weekend. Oh my gosh, my Nana is the most wholesome human in the entire world. I've gone back into that rhythm now where I keep yapping. When I first started YouTube, I just didn't stop yapping. And I just spoke really quick and I feel like I'm speaking at maybe 110 miles an hour right now. But it's just because I'm sort of nervous. Today, I got my hair trimmed again. Well, not again. The last time I had it trimmed was on April the 12th. I was actually like the second person in the hair salon. Do you notice the difference? I don't think you will because it's pretty much exactly the same. I just got the dead ends cut off. So now it's nice and blunt. I went on a food trip today and I've just been feeling very lost at the moment. I think it's usually because in my spare time I edit my videos. I've just been feeling a little bit lost. I was sat on my bed and I was just like contemplating my life. I tried to read, yeah, because I was listening to this podcast on one of my walks and one of the people on the podcast, they're so successful and they said they read 50 to 100 books a year. I don't think I've read 50 to 100 books in my life. I think I've maybe read five. I was like, okay, right. I need to start reading some books, you know, expand the brain. Because I, I want to be clever, I want to continue to learn. So I ordered this book called The 4 Hour Work Week. I got onto the first page, I just, it would not go in. I just could not absorb the information. I'm not a reader. My mum's always been a reader. And she's always been like, Eva, you need to read. Like, everyone reads. I just, I'm not a reader. I tried to do that, but it failed. So I went on my food shop and I bought flour. Uh, not like cake flour, I bought bread flour and pasta flour because I eat pasta galore all day every day so I was thinking if I'm bored why don't I just make my own you know if you want something done right do it yourself so I thought tomorrow when I feel a little bit hungover a bit icky a bit bored make some bread this is my outfit today <gasps> oh also my bedroom is so messy everybody I don't know why I always do this to myself look just wait sorry how funny is this when I was in Putacana with my mum. We got one of them drawings done. I don't think I've ever showed any of you this and that is my mum and that is me and we were sat there for like 10 minutes and people kept walking past and laughing at us and we were just both so confused as to why they were laughing but yeah who drew that and we weren't even in our bikinis when we did it. This was like for a dinner situation but it's just so funny so I put up. It was only like five 
I can't really remember the currency in Putacana, but it was like the equivalent of five pounds. Don't judge me. Promise you won't judge me. Why do I do this to myself? Why? Every single time uh, before I night out, I do this to myself. I go through and pick like, these are all trousers that I'm trying to pick, trying to wear. And when I get home, I just have this. I come back to this and I just, it just then ends up there. Ignore the mess, this is the outfit of the day. It's been a ride trying to pick this, so I hope you like it. I'm gonna pay it, pair it with a green bag. I got, I have so much to catch up on. I did an order from Shein the other day. Let me just show you, let's go back up. This is how I get all my steps in, you know, everybody. I got all these bags because I just thought for every social situation, I'm gonna wear something of a different color. So we got a blue, a, a purple, a pink and a red. They're all like this material. Do you think I should go for the red today? I might go for the red. No. Oh, I think that might be a five. I put my problems, problems, pay with dial look the deputy mad at my brown, 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 problems in the pay with my put my problems, problems, pay with dial look the deputy mad at my brown, 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 problems. Listen to my voice. I've not got coronavirus. I've taken like three tests because my nan is here. You know when you're in like a bar club and you just shout because no one can hear you so i was like screaming and now i think i've strained my vocal cords so that would not be good for my skin career in the shower i fell over i didn't fall over but i had my little heels on and i stumbled because i'm the clumsiest person you'll ever meet in your life one time i was at my sister's house we were walking across the path and she physically like moved the watering can out of the way just so i wouldn't fall and i still fell over the watering can fell over twisted my ankle just been to the gym i made it i made it or uh, this, yeah, is becoming a habit. I don't know what it is. Yesterday, we went to the sticks and sushi, showed you all the food. We got this platter for four people and there's only three of us. So that was a brilliant idea, considering we're three little girls. Not little girls, you know, women. But it was so much food. It was enough to feed the 5,000. 5 million. Okay, that's an exaggeration. Maybe not 5 million. There was just so much of it. I've learned. I actually don't like sushi. I'm trying to make myself like sushi. When I was younger, I just always wanted to like sushi because I think all the pretty girls like sushi. Like, Eve, you've got to like sushi. I was like really forcing myself to like it. And it's okay, but it's called sticks and sushi so that you can have sticks. So I got like chicken meatballs on a stick. It was funky. And that was my favorite part of the sticks and sushi saga. It was really nice. So I very much enjoyed myself. I went to tonight with Josephine and there was this woman there. She was like the most flexible thing I've ever seen in my entire life. She was like bouncing in the splits. She was like walking. I was very impressed. It really outdid my dancing completely. I, I was a bit flabbergasted. I'm at Guildford now. I'm gonna meet my mum and my nana. They just come shopping. this theatre thing this evening called Cirque Berserk. I think it's like one of them acrobatic shows. They're there, so I thought, I'm gonna make my bread now. I didn't realize how easy bread was. On the recipe, all you need, flour, yeast. I think yeast is, listen, I think yeast is the most disgusting word in the world. You cannot correct me, I am not wrong. Flour, yeast, water, that is it. I've always been curious as to why bread is so cheap in the supermarkets like you can get a whole loaf for 40p or something like that so it sort of explains it because it's genuinely two things i have made bread once before in year four all of our class ugh, i can't stop shaking it it's just it's like the bongos i've made bread once before in year four our whole class had to make bread it was like in food technology i, I think and we could all choose a flavour of bread and i chose apple cinnamon and raisin and i know warbletons do do the cinnamon and raisin bagels but this apple cinnamon and raisin bread that i made oh i don't think it was very nice because i didn't i, I literally put in chunks of apple picture you slicing an apple into chunks to like eat that's what i put in my bread so i'm not gonna do that today and i'm just gonna make a plain a plain loaf i know you have to prove it and rise it i don't really know what the difference is between proving and rising so we're just gonna do one Ugh, this is quite heavy it's actually like a oh my gosh isn't <laughs> This is like a weight. There you go. <laughs> it's like an iceberg. Make a little well for the yeast. Pour the yeast in. And then add the water. How do you even open the yeast? Oh, there we go. Right. 
Yeast. Oh. I feel like, you know when cats go to the toilet and they like do that to the soil, I feel like I'm doing that. I'll report back once I've um, de dode my fingers. de dodified I like that is a nice word. Da-da. I've got my little doe baby. Every time I talk about a baby that's not alive, like not human or animal, I always think of Meet the Millers when they had that weed baby. I've got my ball of dough. I sort of skipped the kneading stage because I started kneading and then it was getting stuck to the surface and it just I had dough everywhere so I'm gonna let this sit I just feel listen that's quite nice if you were ever angry just slap some dough I'm gonna let it rise now for a little bit and I'll show you my dough baby when it's grown we'll do a transition we're gonna do a dough transition gosh that I, I never thought I'd say that before right let's do a transition baby one of truth <gasps> oh my gosh <gasps> wow it sort of looks disgusting <gasps> oh. oh it's grown it's grown why is the bottom white though that does not look good but on the recipe it said bubbles and I see bubbles. <laughs> that come with some dough. That looks like a ball sack. Or turkey leg. You can interpret this in many ways. It's grown. It's bloody huge. Look. At my bread it's so hot I might have overdone it it's like it's pretty rock solid I'm gonna get like a knife and see if I use the knife if it's like goes through easily oh no I think I've overdone it every bit I think I've overdone my bread Next morning, Bryce is here, and I mean, it, it's aesthetic. It is aesthetically pleasing. It smells like bread as well. We're gonna give it a little taste test. Nana, Mom, where are you? <laughs> I'm in here. Do you wanna come taste my bread? Taste your bread. Yeah, come taste my bread. I'm all the and jigging and chugging. <laughs> right, come in. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Mentally deranged as well. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Sorry to bother you. Right, we're going to have bread. All oh, right, Oh, yes, yes. We will have bread. I've been on chip now. <laughs> Nana's got this thing where she keeps telling me I'm. How tall do you think well, I'm? Six foot four. Two. To tell you the truth, I'm down here and I keep thinking of Eva as I wasn't. Hello Eva. Oh, oh sorry, oh sorry Eva, I'm sorry about them tiptoes, sorry. I think we've had this conversation so many times today, haven't we? Right, I'm going to get you some butter. <laughs> she wants to get me a butter, she said. Not butter, a butter. Would you believe it? A butter on the face, probably. No, no, I do not batter my nana on the face. I mean, you've got to laugh these days. Oh, you'll be crying. What's going on in the world? You know, you've got to have a little bit of sense, you know, not to be too downtrodden. No, we're upbeat in this house, well, no, aren't we? Not. Which bit of bread do you want? Oh, that will do. <laughs> oh. Yeah, only a little bit. Oh, God. Bit. You I know don't... me, I'm not a massive beater. I like a little bit. Right, I'm, I'm going to give you some of this yeah. with butter, and I want you to tell me if it's nice. You like butter, right, don't you? Yeah, I do. I like butter and batter. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get it. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, but look at that. The camera. No, oh, the camera. Tell me about, about the bread. To look at the, the bread. Is mm. it nice or is it a bit stale? It's a bit heavy. You know, <laughs> mm. I can't talk as much as I like to with batter, but definitely. <laughs> If anyone else did you try to kill that woman? <laughs> Nana, why do you keep telling me if I'm batty and I'm trying to kill you? <laughs> I'm really nice. Is it the worst bread you've ever had? 
It's not the worst. And not the worst? It's not the worst. It's a little bit uh, heavy to eat. <laughs> I beg your pardon, I'm not Mrs. Chowie. <laughs> Conclusions. The bread is a bit heavy. The bread's a little bit heavy. Nothing much to think about. We've got to be thankful for, for small mercies, you know. A little bit of bread does you good. I agree. Rose time. I'm going to shove my face. I am absolutely ravenous. But outfit of the day is... Oh, oh, we are... I still haven't tidied up. Don't judge. I'll hold you up. This is a sheen top um, misguided denim skirt. And then I went for the beige bag today. I am now five months food baby pregnant. Absolutely stuffed. Lovely roast. Got chicken. They got beef. I'm going to conclude my vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. I very much hope you enjoy. I will see you very shortly for more videos. See you next time. Please subscribe.